this new Halsey album. <laughs> Alright, so Trent Reznor produced this thing, and which should come to no surprise to anyone who knows who Trent Reznor is. This is a rock record. Maybe not an entire rock record, but it's definitely more rock leaning than pop. And I'm okay with that on almost every track here. Yeah. I mean, I'll start with the bad just because there's so little of it. Uh, Bells in Santa Fe, uh, it references brand new in its lyrics, so that's pretty cool. It has an interest, interesting instrumental, however, interesting isn't always good. Something can be interesting, but just as the case of Jack the Ripper is interesting to a lot of people, that doesn't mean it's a good thing. <laughs> also, the vocals, not great here. <laughs> Uh, and I am not a woman, I am a god. A lot of people like this song, and I don't see it. I, I can barely hear her until the first chorus, and... Like, okay. What is that repetitive fucking thing in the beat? Like, I don't know if anyone else heard that, but it was like, just fucking going ham and it was annoying as shit and I hated my life listening to it and I never want to listen to this song again. Anyway, let me move to the really good stuff, which is a lot of this album. I think the best song here is The Lighthouse. Uh, it has a nice guitar and a nice drum, uh, or, sorry, percussion, uh, and I just genuinely love it. Whispers is another one with a piano start. It's building up and it's like, you do not want this. And it's, I am the voice that goes, you do not want this. You keep on tempting yourself and you think and then no, when you're telling yourself, I bet I could fuck him. It's like, it's incredible. I love Whispers. Whispers is great. Um, Easier Than Lying has nice percussion and insanely good guitar with some screams in like mixed into the uh, instrumental. It's a headbanger and a half. It... <laughs> Cause I'll, let me just read this lyric off. <clears throat> Cause I'll, I'll kill myself if you give me the rope. Uh, sort of referencing like, um, if you, like, if you give me something I will do said, it, it's literally what it sounds like except with a morbid meaning, okay? Uh, the voice works insanely well, and it ends in sirens. Um, Girl is a gun, has a nice instrumental, her voice is great, and it, it's sort of that negay negay thing. The, uh, ran cap do I type thing, where it's just oddly soothing for me. <laughs> uh, 1121 is a piano, her voice is powerful, uh, it's about, essentially the entire song is about finding out she was pregnant, and it was just great. Uh, Honey uh, actually has an interesting backstory. It was basically her cousin who like wanted to see her record a song like live. So they went to the studio and this is what they recorded and they ended up putting it on the album. And it's about a girl uh, and it's just, it has this, the best percussion on the album by far in my opinion. Like Halsey knocks it out of the park here. I've always thought Halsey could do alternative, but I felt she hadn't really taken the plunge to do it. That's why I think a lot of people gravitated towards, um, a lot of people gravitated towards Manic more so than they did, uh, Badlands or Hopeless Fountain Kingdom. Even though I like those records, I could definitely recognize this was the best out of the three, but while I do still think this is better than if I can't have love, I want power, it's a close, close race. Like, this is the best of pop, if I can't have love, I, I want power, is the best of rock Halsey, okay? Nightmare, throw it in the trash, this is where it's at. I love this album. There's a couple of tracks where I just feel they're mediocre as a tradition. 
um, you, you, yeah, yeah, Bernie, <laughs> I think I'm saying that right, <laughs> but other than that, I mean, every track on here hits, Lilith is sort of the hip-hop type beat with a great bass, vocal effects on, like, Corrupted, where it's like, I've been, cor it, like, corrupts the, vo <laughs> um, it's relaxed, like, She's yelling throughout the track, but it still feels the atmosphere around her is very relaxed, and it works surprisingly well. Darling is an acoustic song. It's very pretty and very lush. You Ask For This has a nice guitar and some nice percussion. Her voice is great. Go On and Be A Big Girl. <laughs> it's one of the lyrics. It's an interesting song. It has a great outro though, so I, hi I highly recommend listening to this album front to back, even for the songs I didn't like, because I do recognize this as one of those albums where a lot the opinions will differ uh, based on the listener of what songs you'll like and what songs you won't, or if you like any of this at all. So, I mean, it, it's a good album in my opinion. I like it. It has great percussion all throughout. Uh, it's the rock halsey we've been waiting for, and I'm feeling a feeling a decent eight on this one. Yeah. So my Donda review is gonna come out eventually. I swear. <laughs> I thought about making some reviews for Sturgill Simpson and Trippy Red. Um, if you want those, comment, I guess, and if you can't comment on this video, you'll be able to comment on your Donda or some other video. But comment and, like, yeah, if you don't want them, just don't comment. But, yeah, so Donda by Kanye West will be the next review. I'm sorry it was late, but this is a decent eight. Thanks for watching. Peace.